folks have been asking for an update video on our chickens. So this morning I thought I would set up a tripod and film as we do some morning work around here and just kind of chat about where things are. We're coming definitely into the, the cooler times. We had a nice mix of heavy rain and freezing ice snow and now the chickens are finally out working. So let me do some morning chores and then we'll chat a bit. We're realizing here as we start getting into colder times, a couple things need to happen. One, um, the compost piles need to be stacked a bit more densely. All through the summer, the focus was about keeping enough space and having it flat and open so they didn't overheat. And now as we start getting into more freezing weather, we actually need that heat to accumulate. So piling these up each day and soon enough starting to think about incorporating uh, some mulch around these or insulation in the form of hay bales or ideally leaf bags to start really building up the warmth in here so that these can maintain heat through the winter is going to be important. It's a fair bit of labor for sure but uh, the chickens really enjoy working over these hot piles with all the sprouts and we're get, still getting all this compost coming through. Still about 300 gallons, 200 to 300 gallons a week uh, although we'll stop extracting once it starts getting cold and we'll just have the volume build like crazy through the winter and we'll we'll document that. We've got some ideas about how to cache uh, finishing compost in the chicken yard for the winter. And yeah, they're about as happy as I am. It's, it's cold. <laughs> I've, come January or February when it's 30 degrees and sleeting, I'm going to say how warm it is, but right now it's a little shock to the system to get used to freezing rain. But the system continues. It's going to be interesting to see how long this duckweed pond is able to provide some greens for them. I recently started digging out a little further uh, just to expand the surface area of the water, and I might do that more in here with little rock pathways for them. We'll see how time allows, but uh, certainly not cold enough to hurt this in any way. And the last three winters, this duckweed has overwintered without any particular support from me and come back strong. So I'm trusting that'll be the case again this year. Been a really nice benefit for our chickens. And these two windrows should be keeping them active for a chunk of the day. They're still getting used to how cold it is. A couple months from now, they'll be right out in this, but um, they're adapting to this new reality of, hey, now it's gonna be winter. <laughs> I might go in under the coop and rake out some old stuff and put some diatomaceous earth and sand for them. Freshen up their, their winter hangout scene. So much more to do. We gotta clean the coop, gotta insulate it, put up windbreaks, all in good time, I guess. But. Well, that's this morning. Thanks for watching.